Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine. Thanks for joining me on a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. Rehashing the outcome of Civil War battlefields emerged as a favorite pastime of veterans long after the fighting ended. You know they were not alone. This is a common practice following any conflict. The failure of Pickett's charge prompted many soldiers to offer opinion and analysis. They include the man pictured here, Colonel William Augustine Morgan of the 1st Virginia Cavalry. Morgan knew of what he spoke. Born and raised in Northern Virginia, he commanded the Shepherdstown Troop, one of the first Virginia companies that responded to quell John Brown's raid on Harper's Ferry. That was in 1859. Two years later, in 1861, Morgan and his troopers became Company F of the 1st Virginia Cavalry. Over the next four years, during the course of the war, the regiment participated in every major campaign with the Army of Northern Virginia. Along the way, Morgan rose in rank to colonel and occasionally commanded on the brigade level. Though often in the thick of the action, he managed to survive the fighting with only a minor wound, and that was at Leetown, Virginia, following the end of the Gettysburg Campaign. After the war, Morgan returns to Shepherdstown, reunites with his family, and goes on to become a deputy sheriff. In 1889, a Virginia newspaper published his commentary on Gettysburg and Pickett's Charge. I want to read to you the most relevant passage. So here we go. Quote, we were allowed to go into camp early on the evening of the second in a position somewhat protected by our infantry, which had preceded our march into Pennsylvania by another and more westerly route and had penetrated that state as far as York. Being much exhausted, we were allowed a good night's rest. The next day, the eventful third, we remained in camp, replenishing our ammunition and grooming horses until about one o'clock. This half day's inactivity seemed to be participated in by the entire army, as far as I could learn. A most fatal mistake that cost us the fearful and immense loss we sustained in the afternoon, the disastrous termination of the Pennsylvania campaign, and the return of a dispirited army to Virginia. Had the cavalry been in their saddle at daylight, striking for the rear of the enemy's position, had the immortal Pickett led his brave division up that fatal slope early in the morning and before the enemy had had time to concentrate and fortify their strong position, the result might have been different. So there is his commentary. It sounds like he's ending on a lesser note, an unhappy note, but as you might expect, in true to form, true to Morgan's form, he comes on strong at the end of his article when he says, quote, but still from left to right at sunset, we held the lines of our own selection and of the morning with that grim and deadly determination which made it dangerous for the foe to intrude upon us. We, on the left flank, then held a line considerably in advance of our position in the morning, that's the morning of July 4th, where the principal fighting took began, and this line was picketed that night by the 1st Virginia Cavalry, and held by my regiment until withdrawn early on the morning of the 4th to cover the column of our army, then retreating in the direction of Cashtown. So, there you have it. Colonel William Augustine Morgan, 1st Virginia Cavalry, on Pickett's Charge. Until we meet again, happy trails.